just like to write. So what we'll do is we need to convert these double angle formulas. So this is going to be one minus. So we'll have double angle cosines the same. There's a few different ways to do it, but here's one. And then for sine, it's going to be actually it's just two sine of x cosine of x. So up here, uh, we distribute the minus sign, so we get one minus cosine squared x plus sine squared x. So let's see here. We can convert one minus cosine into sine squared x plus sine squared x. So this becomes two sine squared x over two sine x cosine x. This cancels this out, so it just becomes linear. The twos cancel out, so we're left with sine of x over cosine of x, which is equal to tangent of x. And that's it. Alrighty, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.